Hello and welcome back to another edition of Good Morning Patty at Patty Channel's very own breakfast show. As usual, I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and equally as usual, here's my co-host, Mr. Dave D. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Nick. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a hectic time to get in this morning, but uh, sun's out, traffic's not too bad, but made it here as usual. Glad nice to see you, Nick. to see you. And equally, I'm glad to see our guest today, the wonderful Marina from Thai Legacy Property. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for inviting. Not at all. So, tell us all about Thai Legacy Property. What, uh, what do you do? Uh, it's, it's a real estate company here in Pattaya. Um, it's, well, most of staff are Thai and Russians. Right. And um, most of our customers are also Russians. Right. But as for rental, we have not only Russians, but American, English, French, and uh, people from all over the world. Well, that's the wonderful thing about Pattaya, isn't it? Just how cosmopolitan yeah. yes. it is. There's people from, from everywhere here. Yes. And um, it's, I like this business and it's, well, I like it very It makes much. you happy, yes? Yes. It makes you happy. Now, uh, you say that you do a lot of uh, rentals uh, and sales, yes? Yes. Um, I mean, uh, how do you sort of uh, compare the high season and low season? Is, is there a high season and low season in your business? Yes, certainly. Low season in, our, in my business is May. Okay. And it depends on, on Russian. Yeah. But uh, as for, it's for sales. As for rentals, we haven't low and high season. So your, rent, your rentals are be, always? Uh, yes. That's, that's, our, a, that's a good position to be in. Uh, yes. How long have you been in Patia doing the business? Um, about two years. Okay. We, uh, well, the company, um, it's a newcomer to this business. Mm -hmm. But as for us personally, we are not newcomers because uh, nine years ago we bought the first apartment here right. and we bought something for for our friends and uh, so we know this market so you started off just almost as a hobby helping out uh, friends yes. and it just grew and grew into uh, into a business yes uh, we like traveling and uh, to help a friend to buy condo in pataya it was it was uh, very interesting for us. I can imagine. Yes. Can imagine. And uh, uh, the matter is, usually Russians don't speak English. Sure. And uh, they asked me to help them to translate. Yeah, and, I can uh, imagine nine years ago there was not so many uh, Russians yes. as there are today. And um, when we bought for first condo, the director of real estate agency told me, Marina, please stay with us. I will make you business cards tomorrow. <laughs> but I have, we had other plans and... Uh, so it took you that long to, yes. to get formally established. So do you have an office in Pattaya? Or yes, um, yes, we have office and uh, it's Tapraya Taprazit Cross in Modus Business Center. Oh, all right, the one with the big uh, mm. animated yes. billboard. Yeah. Yes, right. I, I think spot. everybody see our office because it's in yes. front of the street and... Uh, and how long have you been in that office? Did you start the company in that office? Yes. Right, so you've always been there. Yes. And how, how many staff do you have working for you now? Um, all, um, we have in our office two people. Right. One is um, director, mm -hmm. Dennis, and uh, one is uh, our Thai assistant. Right. And uh, we have also our partner, mm -hmm. A Thai woman, she also in real estate business for a long time, and um, she helps us a lot. Do, do you get? Do you get many? I take it you're from Russia, yes. So do you, do you take many people from Russia who sort of get in contact with you? They're, they're in Russia, they call you and say, you know, what is Patia like? And, you know, what's he got to offer? And I've got a certain amount of money to spend. I mean, do you sort of help them that way and, and find what they want? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Do they do they normally come and visit first, or or do you do any of your transactions just over the phone or by internet without people coming in? It depends. Well, we have customers that uh, they haven't been never in Pattaya. Okay. It's internet sale. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, in general, most of our customers, certainly, they come to Pattaya, and uh, most of our customers are f uh, our um, acquaintances or um, friends, mm -hmm. or friends by our friends. And uh, Well, I think, I think it's, it's the same in all con uh, cultures, Nick, isn't it? I mean, uh, be it English, be it you know, Australian, American, mm -hmm. Russian, or whatever. I think they've all got their own sort of uh, community where you know, they would sort of speak to each other kind yeah, of thing. And yeah. you know, like I would say to Nick, you know, where's a good place to get a condo? Nick, the same as your friends from Russia say to you, where's an, a nice place I, I could buy a condo? And I think yeah. that's the same in all cultures. Yeah, yes. and it's, it's the sign that you're doing, offering a good service if you have people referring. Uh, you... Well, they get the personal touch, exactly. don't they? they exactly. Get the personal touch. Yes, we are very client oriental. Well, we are not. Um, uh, uh, well, we, we haven't many customers that coming mm. to us every day, and uh, no, we are we deal with every uh, client, and um, we we um, personally we, we became friends. That's nice. And, That's um, nice to... Uh, so, if, like, uh, friends, like, like you say, I mean, you don't get many people walking into the office. Yeah. It's more like you sell to your friend and then your friend tells somebody else yes. who tells somebody else and that's it's like a mm -hmm. repeat business for you, which is the best business, of course. Absolutely. It just shows that you're doing a good job if yeah. you were bringing in lots of clients, Absolutely. but they weren't happy, then they wouldn't be coming back and referring their friends. So, do you sell uh, resales, off-plan, a combination of both? <sighs> off-plans. Mostly off-plans. Mostly of plants yeah. because because Russians like new condos. Yeah. And what are some of your big sellers at the moment? Uh, what are this year? Oh, Seven Seas Condo. Seven Seas. It's it's the hit of this year. Yes, it's uh, it's, it's a nice project and. Uh, Construction's coming along nicely, and that, that always gives. Uh, so I would imagine some people are a little bit nervous of off plan, are they? Mm -hmm. Thinking, oh, is it going to get built? But um... I think I think they like the Seven Seas one and, and Atlantis and, and places like that. Though I mean, they're more like community. You know, it's like a small community, isn't it? Sure. And of course, I would imagine in Seven Seas, you know, you, you know, you get all your cultures again having their sort of places and everybody gets together there and I think you know like the Russian people they like to be together they like to talk together and I think that's why they like these sort of um, these developments because they're not sort of separated they all like to be together and, maybe, uh, I think maybe so. yes May yeah. maybe not I yeah. think they like the big swimming pool <laughs> <laughs> I think because Russia is a cold country sure. Yeah, and sure. they like sun yeah. they like sea they like uh, swimming pools and um what type of ages is uh, the average client? So I know on the, the British and Americans tend to be sort of more looking at early retirement places and mm -hmm. tend to be more more elderly. Uh, are Russians tend, buyers tend to be younger? Yes, I think. Most of our customers are about 30, 40 years old. Right. Yeah, and do they are they just buying as for a few weeks of holiday a year in the winter? Yes. Yeah, it's not a permanent residence, yes. just a, yes. a holiday home. Just holiday home. But do, yeah. they, do they sort of do they sort of retreat, uh, sort of treat it as a, a retirement plan as well? You know, I mean, yes. you know, so it's, if they they're coming here for a, a few weeks a year, buying one for a few weeks a year, Nick, or renting it to their friends or whatever. I mean, surely uh, when they buy off plan, number one is they're getting a, a pre-launch price, they're getting a good price on mm -hmm. it. It's a good investment, so surely it's like a future investment for whatever they want to do in the future. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. They they think about it. Mm. I I sure that they think about, uh, and um, they ask us every time. How much it will be cost in two years, yeah. in three years, and um... I think I think it's important. I mean, the market at the moment, the way it is, you know, uh, in Patti and around the world at the moment. Of course, you know, you need mm -hmm. people like yourself to sort of re reassure them that it's going to be a good investment. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't want to get into heavy politics, but I know that the political situation has impacted the Russian economy in the past few months. Mm -hmm. how, how is this affecting uh, business and Russians' interest in Pattaya? Not much. Not much? Not much. People who want to buy, 
They buy. They buy. They yeah. still buy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So there's uh, there's there's no problem with the the currency rates or, or getting money out. Uh, it's still fine. Yes. First, when uh, the rate was rubble dollar rate was mm. high. They think they think, and it was difficult. But it long only half a month or something right. like this. But. So is it just is, sorry? Is it just in Patia that you have properties, or do you extend out to Jontiam or Bangsaray, or is, you know, is it just concentrated on Patia itself? Um, no, no. As for me, for example, I like Bangsaray, mm-hmm. and I try to offer my customers Bangsaray, for example, mm-hmm. Delmare, or or other projects. Mm. And because um, I mean, we, we've had we've had uh, people on the show in the past, and we've spoke about something, haven't we? Nick? You mm-hmm. know, like you know, Patia now is sort of getting to a stage where they're running out of land, mm-hmm. and uh, where, where are we going next, kind of thing. And a lot of people are looking to the wings, looking further mm-hmm. afield for bargains on, on land, yeah. and also to make uh, new mm-hmm. developments. I mean, uh, does your company sort of look at that as well? Yes. Mm. They do a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. And, and rentals, is that uh, an important part of your business now? Uh, no, not important. <laughs> right. Not, not important, because it's very, it's very difficult business. Sure, I can imagine a lot. It's very competitive. Yes. Uh, what, what are the main questions when, you know, uh, your friends from Russia come over mm-hmm. and, or, or on the internet or on the telephone? What are the main questions they ask you? I mean, do you have a certain set questions that the people are asking you all the time? And I, I know that you're going to say the sun, yes, and it's nice. But I mean, do they have a set sort of set pattern to what they're asking you? Difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're all going to say, you know, is it sunny there? Mm-hmm. Are we next to the beach? You know, you know, it, you know, is it a good investment? You know, now, I mean, now they ask, what about political situation in? Yeah, which which is understandable, in but that, this this will this will uh, blow over the same well, as anything else. I mean, you know, this this doesn't affect. Uh, I wouldn't say it affects us so much. I mean, mm. it's just something that's happening at this time. It will blow over. The property will be the property, and 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 the holidays will continue. You know, and there will be a fluctuation in in tourism. Of course, there will be. But I think you know, there's always a good investment in Patia, in the right place. Yes. Yes. Do most of your buyers uh, do they buy the first time that they come here? Do they uh, are they they quite impulsive, or do they come on holiday two or three years and then think oh, I love this place? I want to. No, it's not impulsive sales. It's uh, they come to try two or three years. Yeah. And uh, only after that they decide to buy here something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there any particular part of, of Russia that is more popular? Uh, this is Moscow, St. Petersburg, Siberia. Is there any particular area? That... Well, I'm from Russian forest. Right. And uh, that is why most of our customers are from forest. Mm-hmm. Khabarovsk, Vladivost- Sakhalin, mm-hmm. Vladivostok. Right. And uh, we have customers from Siberia, Novosibirsk. Right. Um, so it's, as, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Uh, yes, really. as for Moscow, we um, we have one customer. Mm-hmm. And, um, but yeah, but it's mostly the eastern side of the country yes. where the, the flight times are. Your price are a lot range. Less. Your price range is from is from what from a million baht to what is the, like the most expensive um, uh, um, apartment or house you've sold? Well, the most. Usually, usually the most expensive is uh, eight, eight million. Yeah, so you, you have a full range. Yes, uh, people don't want to spend more for holiday homes. Okay, but uh, usually they buy about two point five yeah, million. million. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the standard. Seems to be the trend. Standard the thirty-five square meters in mm. off plan condos. Yeah. And as we know, Nick, they can do a lot with 35 square meters. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're designed so well and uh, you get the furniture packs in there. I mean, it's, it's a good deal. You can certainly see yeah, why uh, it's so popular. Yes, I think so. But as for me, I would prefer something, well, 
bigger. <laughs> sure, but uh, <laughs> we all want something bigger <laughs> all the time. We're, we're, we're different because we live here 52 yeah, yeah. weeks a year, though, yeah. so uh, it, it, it's different from us for somebody yes. who would be only here for a couple of weeks or so. But mm. some people want to stay here for a long time in future, for example, to live a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to explain them that um, you will not live in this condo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you will live here two months yeah, sure, and sure. then you decide to, to change it. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, but now we want this. <laughs> so, we're nearly out of time. So, before we go, explain once again how we can find you and our viewers can get in contact with you. Yes, they... Uh, Your office uh, is uh, on uh, the Prior and Tepreset. Yes. Just look for the big uh, glowing billboard. Yes. And do you have a website? Yes, we have a website. Um, ThaiLegacyProperty.com Okay, so if you want to check out ThaiLegacy.com and uh, have a speak to Marina and uh, check out uh, her selection of properties there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.